So, what is RecOS? Well, RecOS is basically, it's a custom Windows 10 ISO. And according to Rec Recnotic, I think that's his name. Yeah, he says this Windows 10 image is designed for gamers for the purposes of achieving better performance and latency. So, this is one of those Windows 10 images that's made for gaming. You could probably do a lot of these tweaks on regular Windows 10. Anyway, guys, yeah, let's take a look at RecOS and, well, it's interesting. <laughs> Actually, before we do anything, let's go to our display. We're going to enable 3D acceleration, so this way it'll at least perform somewhat better. This is a fucking joke. I literally can't do shit. I'm hitting Alt F4, but nothing's working. Yeah, VirtualBox, you might want to fix your shit. Can I? Keyboard doesn't work. Why is nothing? I literally don't know why this isn't working. This has been driving me crazy. Yeah, you want my recommendation? Don't use VirtualBox. Look, I'm literally hitting everything on the freaking keyboard here. Nothing works! Okay, there we go. Oh my god, quit with these notifications, VirtualBox. Alright, anyway, now we can actually get down to business here. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna set this, just leave it as English. Yeah, except I don't care. We're gonna, in, we're just gonna put it on that virtual drive, and we're just gonna let this all install, and hopefully this should install pretty quick. Oh yeah, look at that, we're already done. That only took like two minutes. <laughs> Yeah, or at the very least, if you are going to use VirtualBox, yeah, don't use it in full screen. Could, or at least, it might be a Linux thing, I have no idea. Yeah, no, definitely don't use it in full screen, which is weird, because you would want to use it in full screen, but... <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we're going to do United States, because screw it, why not? What the? Why is there two empty spaces here? What? <laughs> Who's going to use this PC? Or sorry, Nuns of Your Biz... You know what, let's just name it None Your Business Bill. There we go. Let's create a super memorable password. Okay. <laughs> and yes, you might be wondering, why aren't you using, you know, why aren't you using your GoPro camera? Well, the problem is, at least if I want to connect it via USB directly, that's not going to work in Linux. So... Yeah, I kind of have to use this webcam for right now, and then for like, you know, my actual computer stuff. Like, like if I wanted to look at one of my old computers, for example, I'll just use the GoPro. Do you guys like this camera or the GoPro? Yeah, let me know in the comments. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, this is interesting. Windows, just better. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. It literally installs open shell for you, so you don't even have to worry about the Windows 10 start menu. That's actually pretty cool. So we're just gonna choose, uh, uh, we're just gonna make it the Windows 7 style and we'll get rid of that garbage start button with something much better, I think. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, as you can see, Windows 10 Rec OS. Oh yeah, let's see what we got in our programs here. Accessibility, nothing. Maintenance, nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's our open shell, of course. Cause you know, we, got, we just go into our settings, it just takes us to this. Windows system. What about apps? Wow, this is actually pretty light. I gotta be honest with you. This is like really light so far. All right, so post install setup folder on the desktop. Oh wait, what's this? Rec OS 1709 app utility. Oh, this is cool. This almost looks like one of those key gen pop-ups. You know, <laughs> I don't know why it just does. We're just gonna install web browser so we got notepad plus plus we got discord vlc brave epic games ugh, valorant legendary whatever that is chrome and sudo 7-zip and obs of course they have the epic game store in here but not steam like you would think they would put steam in here instead of epic games but it's okay to start oh wait we don't even have a network driver is that what this is for? Network tweaks? Okay, why aren't we connected to the internet? Yeah, it says enable. Yeah, it says our network's enabled, so I don't know why it's open to. Oh, is this how you do? Oh, okay. 
So we open device manager, or what Nostalgia Mall or Billy Core calls it, device mangler. Right click on your network driver. So this, or no, properties. Yeah, why isn't this? I checked in here too, but it's not showing anything. We don't need this. I gotta install the, the guest editions. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? At least I can get out of full screen, but holy crap. Or maybe not, because it's probably, it looks like it's just going to crash. Why isn't this running? I'm clicking install the additions. For some reason, it's not working. Why isn't this loading? Well, here's a problem. So this actually does come with Snappy Drive Installer. Problem is, by default, this requires me to connect to the internet. I can't access at the moment. Okay, seriously, am I stupid or I cannot find for the life of me the network, a network driver. I know this is here, but when I try running this, should, you know what? Let me try running this as admin. Nope. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, no, as you can see here, I mean, we got a bunch of stuff. You got your GPU drivers. It takes you to the websites. You know, it tells you, like, what to do. And, yeah, though, this is actually kind of neat. It even tells you how to set up your NVIDIA settings. This is literally all I need. For some reason, it doesn't include the Ethernet adapter. But yeah, no, these are like a bunch of, it looks like they're just a bunch of like registries that are supposed to tweak your operating system, but <laughs> I'm not sure if I fully trust them. Process hacker, what is this? Oh, so this is like task manager? I'm guessing this is for like, if, like let's say you try to close out something via task manager and it doesn't close. Yeah, th you kind of have to use something like this. Yeah, no, I could, I could see how this could be useful. A memory cleaner? Yeah, I guess this allows you to free a bram, which I don't, I don't gotta worry about in this case, but I guess I could find it useful. But anyway, device cleanup. What is this? Oh, these are drivers. Oh, okay. So this is almost the same as device manager, except it allows you to, I guess, uninstall them quicker. Let me see. Wow, it's actually giving me an error when I right click on these and properties. <laughs> Oh, this is a custom resolution. Okay, I see. So yeah, no, I guess we could set this to... See, but then where can I... You know what? What? Fuck it. I don't I don't give a shit. Power plan optional. Calypto's low latency. Hands power plan. Oh, these are like all different sorts of power plans. I see. So instead of using like the defaults, you know, you could use these. Yeah, because see, these are like the three ones you get by default which is balanced, high performance, and power saver, but here you can install like all sorts of different power settings. It's actually kind of cool. Okay, so we're gonna, so, so we open device manager, right click your network driver. I seriously hope this isn't a virtual box thing. It's weird because, you know what virtual box? You wanna play with me this way? Fine, let's, let's, Enable, you know, let's enable both shared clipboard and drag and drop. Okay, we're gonna open our VMware here again. Or it's, you know, we're just gonna load this in windowed again. Let's try installing guest edition CD this time. See if we get anything. You know what? Fine. You know what? You want? You don't want to play fair? Alrighty. How about I do this? Okay. Why isn't this freaking working? Oh my god. What the hell? Are you goddamn shitting me? God, this is fucking impossible. I literally can't even drag and drop it or else it'll give me an error. I know, I literally can't even drag and drop because I don't have the guest editions installed. However, I can't install the guest editions from the image because it doesn't pop up. Let's try running a random ISO I have right here. Why not? Yeah, no, that doesn't work either. You know what, let me try my Windows 11 virtual machine real quick. Yeah, so it does read the drive. So I guess this is just a, a freaking... Well, that's one point I gotta take off of Rec OS, because I literally can't even run any disk images. This is this is insane. Oh, again, why can't you drag and drop? Because I can't drag and drop it because I don't have the guest editions. Literally a catch-22. Yeah, honestly, Rec OS, 
least for virtual machines, I'm sorry. I got to dock you a couple of points on that. Yeah, I guess at least it gave you some entertainment, right? Wreck OS, but everything goes wrong. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> sorry, I'm just going crazy. Our settings explorer. I didn't drag and drop anything. What are you talking about? Literally, like, it's so specific. Yeah, look at this. Allow away mode policy. Allow standby states. Allow wake timers. Oh my god, no, this is super specific. Again, I may as well... I usually just set it to maximum performance. And I'm just done. Oh, that's interesting. So we can still install Notepad++. Yeah, as you can see, we got Notepad++. I wish I told you, like, what... Oh, wait, here we go. December 30th, 2020... That's actually not that old. That's only a that's only a couple years old. Allow metadata network that. You know what? Honestly, because the network doesn't work, I don't care. But yeah, no, as you can see, VLC works just fine. I mean, obviously, we're not going to be able to go on the internet, but uh, I guess not. We got Epic. Oh wait, there we go. Yeah, we got to connect to the internet. Where is not that is required to play? Yeah, we, I can't connect to the internet. <laughs> Chrome. Yeah, that's obviously this going to be the same as Brave. And yeah, and sudo, 7-zip, what about OBS? Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if Rec OS was abandoned when it was made. <laughs> so literally everything that requires the internet to install it, like Discord and Chrome, yeah, you're not even going to be able to install these because unfortunately, again, I this isn't talking about like running it on actual hardware. I don't know how it is on actual hardware. But, at least for virtual machines, you can't even install some of these applications. Because, who, yeah, because they decided to get rid of the network driver. Like, what is this? Oh, wow, look at that. Every The backgrounds are the exact same. <laughs> In my opinion, this is definitely not the best custom ISO. So, yeah, guys, that was... Rec OS. Rec OS, all right. I'll get, that's a that's an accurate name. I'll give it that. I mean, you know what? I will give it credit where credit is due. You know, it disables most of the telemetry. It puts on like all of these different tweaks that allows your system to run better. But unfortunately, again, this this claim I'm not saying a hundred percent. But if I literally can't go on the internet. When, like, when some of these apps, you need the internet, internet to even install them. What the hell is the point? What the hell is the point of this? So, yeah, those are, those are my thoughts. Uh, if you guys liked the video, you know, make sure you give it a like. If you disliked it, dislike the video. If you want to, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, peace.